For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Investing in long-term stocks can be a rewarding strategy, especially when you draw inspiration from renowned investors like Warren Buffett. Often referred to as the Oracle of Omaha, Buffett has a proven track record of identifying companies with strong fundamentals that can weather market fluctuations. While there are numerous methods to discover promising long-term investments, one of the most effective approaches is to consider some of Buffett's selections. His insights can provide valuable guidance, particularly in a market where certain stocks are currently undervalued. Occidental Petroleum is a prime example of a stock that warrants attention. While it may not be the most recognized name in the energy sector, Buffett's continued investment speaks volumes about its potential. The oil industry is often misunderstood, with many believing it is on the verge of decline. However, the United States Energy Information Administration forecasts that liquid fuels derived from crude oil will remain the dominant source of energy production globally until at least 2050. This indicates that the transition to alternative energy sources will take time, allowing oil companies like Occidental to adapt and thrive. Buffett's admiration for Occidental Petroleum largely stems from its ability to innovate and restructure. Buffett has praised Occidental's chief executive officer for her unique skills in extracting oil from rock, highlighting her value to both shareholders and the broader community. Moreover, Occidental's focus on carbon capture technology is another compelling reason for Buffett's investment. Carbon capture involves removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to mitigate environmental damage, and while the technology is still in its infancy, it is gaining traction. According to Polaris Market Research, the market for direct air capture systems is projected to grow at an impressive annual rate of 58% through 2032, potentially reaching nearly $4 billion. This growth could significantly extend the viability of oil usage, making Occidental a key player in the future energy landscape. Currently, Occidental Petroleum's shares have seen a decline of 16% since their peak in April, largely mirroring the recent pullback in crude oil prices. However, this dip is viewed as a temporary setback, creating a potential buying opportunity for investors who recognize the company's long-term value. Switching gears, let's discuss Bank of America, which has recently been in the spotlight due to Berkshire Hathaway's decision to divest a portion of its stake. In recent weeks, Berkshire has sold nearly $4 billion worth of Bank of America shares, leading to speculation among investors about the company's future. Despite the recent sales, Berkshire Hathaway still holds a significant investment in Bank of America, with over 940 million shares valued at approximately $37 billion. This substantial ownership indicates that Buffett has not abandoned his position in the bank. Instead, he may be taking profits and rebalancing his portfolio, which is a prudent strategy in light of potential increases in capital gains tax rates. The second quarter results for Bank of America were not particularly inspiring, as net income decreased year over year despite some revenue growth. The current economic environment, characterized by falling interest rates, has made lending less profitable. However, it is crucial to recognize that Bank of America still generates substantial cash flow and maintains a strong dividend yield of 2.7%. The shares are currently priced at less than 11 times the projected earnings for the upcoming year, which is an attractive valuation for value-oriented investors. Buffett has always favored companies that produce reliable cash flow, and Bank of America fits this criterion. While the bank faces headwinds, its fundamentals remain solid, and the potential for recovery makes it a stock worth considering for long-term investors. Finally, we turn our attention to the Kraft Heinz Company, another stock that Buffett has not given up on despite its rocky history. The merger of Kraft and Heinz in 2015 was initially celebrated with expectations of achieving significant synergies. However, the reality proved to be more challenging, leading to a prolonged decline in the stock's value. Buffett himself acknowledged his misjudgment regarding the merger, admitting that Berkshire overpaid for Kraft. Despite these setbacks, Buffett's continued investment in Kraft Heinz, with nearly 326 million shares still held by Berkshire, suggests that he sees potential for a turnaround. The company's new chief executive officer, Carlos Abrams Rivera, is focused on addressing the operational inefficiencies that have plagued Kraft Heinz in recent years. By prioritizing innovation and forming strategic branding partnerships, the company is beginning to regain its footing in the market. While concerns remain, particularly regarding the company's dividend payments, Kraft Heinz is showing signs of improvement. The company has raised its dividend since lowering it in early 2019, indicating confidence in its ability to generate sufficient cash flow. 
In summary, Warren Buffett's investment choices provide valuable insights for those looking to build a long-term stock portfolio. Occidental Petroleum stands out as a compelling option due to its innovative approach and focus on carbon capture technology. Bank of America, despite recent divestments, remains a strong value play with solid fundamentals. Lastly, the Kraft Heinz Company is on the path to recovery under new leadership, making it an intriguing choice for patient investors. These three stocks exemplify Buffett's investment philosophy of seeking undervalued companies with strong fundamentals and potential for long-term growth. As always, investors should conduct their own research and consider their personal financial goals before making investment decisions. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.